Welcome to CAU TV News Break. I'm Danielle Saintville. The decision not to release the last jailed member of the Jenna Six has been made by a Louisiana judge. The judge refused to honor bail set at $90,000 for Michael Bell because of a previous criminal history. Bell and five others were accused of beating up a white high school classmate in Jenna following months of racial tension there. Busloads of local supporters went to Jenna, Louisiana last week to protest what many are calling discrimination by Jenna's court system. Six young black men, now known as the Jenna Six, are being prosecuted for beating a white classmate accused of hanging a noose from a tree on their high school campus. Some accounts say that the classmate started the fight. Hundreds of Atlanta residents wore black and rallied before marching downtown towards Jenna's courthouse. Many speakers addressed the crowd, including the Reverend Jesse Jackson, who demanded respect, protection, and the freeing of the Jenna Six from local government. Respect me, protect me, never neglect me. I am somebody. Stop the violence, save the children, free Jenna Six now. Fidel Castro has made a rare television appearance for the first time in months. Speculation was high that Castro had died or suffered from a medical relapse after he went missing from the public eye. Castro spoke slowly during a state televised interview and showed his appearance had not changed since his last interview in early June. Coming up after the break, we'll tell you who topped Forbes magazine's list for the richest Americans. Stay tuned. save your life from an ugly or reckless driving death. Don't answer yet. There's more. Act now by slowing down and we'll guarantee you complete satisfaction. That's awesome. In the real world, there is no spokesperson to prevent reckless driving. There's only you. Speak up. Whoa, Andy, slow down. I am stuffed. After that meal, I have got to pass gas. Uh, powder room's right there. No! Daddy's gas can kill us all. That's right. Toxic clouds like the one I'm about to unleash could make everyone deathly ill. Even that baby of yours. Be right back. Secondhand smoke contains hydrogen cyanide and other deadly gases. What a guy. He is a keeper. Don't pass gas. Take it outside. For the 14th consecutive year, Bill Gates has topped Forbes magazine's list for one of the richest Americans. According to Forbes, Gates' estimated fortune is $59 billion, followed by $52 billion fortune investor Warren Buffett. 33-year-old John Arnold is the youngest member to make the cut with $1.5 billion in wealth. The career of baseball all-time home run hitter Barry Bonds is coming to an end in San Francisco. During a press conference before a game against the Reds on Friday, the team announced that Barry Bonds would not be back for the 2008 season. Peter McGowan, the managing general partner of the Giants, says he's grateful for all the memories Bonds has brought to the team, but he feels it's time to move in another direction. Bonds spent 15 years in San Francisco. Thanks for tuning in to CAU TV News Break. Call in your comments and news suggestions to 404-880-8904. Join us weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm Danielle Saintville. Newsbreak is produced by students in the Mass Media Arts Department of Clark Atlanta University.